I would like to just take a few moments to pay our tribute on behalf of all UIC shareholders to recognize Jacob Onare Adam Sr. and pay tribute to him because of the tremendous work that he did on behalf of the Inupiat people, people that he loved and cared for. Also as a family man, a subsistence hunter, a provider for our people. He always wanted each entity to have success. That was huge and near and dear to his heart. But he expected you to put in the effort, put in the work. And that's what I recall about Jacob. I think to get a better picture of how my brother Jake and our family, you have to understand we lived in limited resources. Sometimes the power was on and sometimes it wasn't. We had wood stoves that also used coal. It was hard work for us. We all had chores. One of the things that Jake continued living the life that we were raised, our parents would take us out hunting regularly. Every year we would start out with peace hunting and then we'd come home, go whaling, and Jake and my brothers started when they were nine years old. They started whaling, spent a lot of time at the shooting station where our grandparents had a uh, house and they lived out there at Pyramid year round. So after Nalukadak, they would take, they would take us by boat bring all of our supplies and go camp at Pyramid with our grandparents. Jake was, by then, by the time I was going out with my parents on those trips, as a young man, he started working. They had odd jobs. And right before school, we would go up into the decent area and go to Alakzak and other Kulayaf and some other places uh, and go caribou hunting and spend two or three weeks out there and got enough caribou to support us through the winter and then come home and fall whaling. So that's the way he was raised. He raised his once he got married, he raised his family the same way we were raised. We took them out hunting. Now his grandsons are great hunters and whalers. He sit down and taught them how to prepare for whaling. He did all of that, not just his children, but his grandkids. So you can see that in them that they were raised that way and they're really good hunters and fishermen and that was one of the things that he did despite his professional career he took the time to do that and he would put on a suit and go to Washington D.C. <laughs> I was employed at Atkasuk as the utility uh, supervisor. We only had a filter wrench, a screwdriver, and a hammer for tools. So I went and met with Jack Mask and Jerry Cogdell. And at that time, Jacob was appointed mayor. So he called in Arthur, Arthur Balanke. And he was able to direct Arthur to sell his personal tools to Atkasuk Utilities, and we were able to work. And this is how much he cared for the people. That's just a personal note, because it meant a lot to me as utility supervisor to know that he supported and cared for all the people. He taught you to love, because out whaling, you never are out there for yourself. We would talk about that. that we're out there to help provide for those in need. And that was near and dear to his heart. It was never, never about himself. Um, and that's what I grew up with, with my grandfather. 
uh, Alan Rock taught me those same values and why I elevated toward Jake is because I saw those same values, those same leadership traits uh, in him, humble, uh, caring, but when he spoke, um, you've heard it from so many people, uh, he would he would say the right things and he wouldn't have to say much. And, and we all got the message. Um, he was fun to be around, always long-term vision, wanting the betterment for all shareholders, all the people. And I know when I watched him on the assembly, wanting the betterment to the people there across the slope. Um, I listened to my father, uh, Elijah, talk about, you know, I, I never going to go back to uh, what we had in the past. And that was Jacob's deal, making it better every day for, for everyone. In closing, thank you, Lucio, Maggie, Lucy, Jackie, Jacob Jr., RJ, and Herbert. We deeply appreciate the many things that he has done for us. Our gratitude, our appreciation cannot be expressed in words. On behalf of all the UIC shareholders, the board of directors, and all of our employees in the United States and in 15 different countries, Oyanaka.